guys, I'm back and today I'm doing a video on what to pack for a visit to Iceland. Today I'm wearing my Icelandic jumper inspired t-shirt that Ingmar gave me. Um, I'm actually wearing a t-shirt because it is quite warm in here. It's a really sunny day outside, it's kind of, dare I say it, spring-like. Probably snow tomorrow. Okay, so there's a kind of layering rule of survival here. The first one is the obvious one, which is thermals. Um, I've got some pretty straightforward black thermals here. These are Murano Mool. They are pricey, but they're a really good investment. Um, I actually got these for my birthday from Ingmar. And these are fantastic because you don't really need to wash them too often. Just hang them up overnight to air dry. The next thing is a fleece layer. So I've got this fleece from Berghaus. Scrunch it up, throw it in a rucksack or whatever. Um, and that's your second layer. And then your outer layer is a breathable jacket or something. This is a Reebok um, jacket here. It's got some reflective stripes on it, which is really good because obviously um, Iceland is a really dark country most of the winter time or a lot of the winter time. Um, therefore, you don't really want to be dressed in black. Um, and certainly things like hat, scarf, gloves, shoes, try and make them bright so that you can be seen as you're out and about crossing roads and so on. Having said that, all the gloves that I have here are all black. First of all, I have the fingerless gloves, which means that at least you have some form of protection when you're taking that um, Instagram shot or you're trying to film on a camera outside, and then you can whack on the ski gloves or the leather gloves. And this is my headband. I got this in Iceland. I love this. Literally lives on me. And then these two goodies. These were a present from my students when I left my last teaching job. A nice woolly hat and then a big cosy pashmina to wrap yourself around in. So the next thing you want to think about is your outerwear, your jackets. Um, you might want to bring two, obviously try and wear these on the airplane to save yourself some room in the packing. Any time of year you need to have a good coat with you, you are obviously going to be visiting an island. Um, the temperature doesn't really get above 15 degrees Celsius, but it does drop to minus four or five, possibly more than that, I'm not very sure. So the first one I've got is my lovely bright pink um, jacket. This is a down jacket, which means that it's really cozy, but it also shrinks right down and can fit into a tiny little bag. This is the kind of trusty throw it in the car and fling it round me for whenever we're going out for a walk or whatever we're up to. It is down. Um, I washed this before I left for Iceland with a kind of coating so that um, it is protected. It is much more durable in washing then and also it's completely waterproof. The next thing I have on the list is cashmere jumpers. Um, if you're lucky enough and have lots of lovely cashmere in your wardrobe, certainly bring it because it's going to be really soft on your skin and really cozy as well. So I have this cashmere jumper. It's grey. It's nice and long. This is from John Lewis. I got it in their sale in January and it's got a mixture of wool and cashmere and it's got 5% cashmere, so not a huge amount. The next thing I would say is completely up to your style and wardrobe choices. So either a big cozy pashmina kind of wrap cardigan sort of thing, um, woolen jumper or a big hoodie and cozy fleece. So I have a hoodie here. Um, it's got a bit of pink in it, navy blue, a big hood, got some pockets, pulls in at the bottom so it keeps you nice and cozy um, and it's fleecy as well. And then obviously to layer up you need lots of really thin layers. So this one is just a simple thin long sleeve top from Primark, so really inexpensive. Um, I've got a couple of different colours in that and then some vest tops as well. So the one thing that I often forget when I'm packing is pyjamas. In apartments and hotels in Iceland it can actually be quite warm. We often sleep with the window wide open which seems kind of crazy when it's snowing outside but the buildings are concrete so they retain the heat throughout the day quite a lot. Um, and there's a lot of energy around to be heating the building. So think about what you're actually packing in your pajamas. So I just have a simple cotton t-shirt um, and some really lightweight cotton trousers that I just kind of pair together um, for just around the house. I put on some slipper socks. These also double up really well in my hiking boots 
um, and snow boots for hikes as well. So a range of different trousers, leggings, that kind of thing is what you're looking for. I quite often just double up two pairs of leggings, so a thin pair of leggings on top of my thermals, and then I take my waterproof trousers with me. These are just simple black fleece lined leggings from Primark, um, probably really inexpensive. The next thing I have are some Lycra leggings for kind of the gym, for running and so on. Um, these are really good if you're going on a hike, like a glacier hike or something, because you've got a good thick barrier there, but they're obviously very comfortable and easy to move in. Um, these are from Sweaty Betty, I really like the pattern on them, something fun like that is always good. And then your outer layer, so I've got waterproof trousers here, I got the ones that have a big elasticated waistband so that you can kind of pull them on and off really quickly and they've also got kind of 90s style poppers down the sides of them with a zip so that if you feel warm whilst hiking you can kind of get a bit of air into your legs if need be. And lastly for the trousers I've got some saddle pets here, so ski trousers, really cosy, I've not even had these on yet um, but I'll make sure to pack these the next time that we're off. There's obviously the essentials like underwear, um, make sure that you have some really good sensible socks with you. These ones are alpaca, I got these in Ecuador a couple of years ago and they're really cosy and warm so I have these tucked into my snow boots for whenever I need to be using them. And you'd be completely lost in Iceland if you didn't bring your swimwear. So all these amazing secret pools, hidden pools, geothermal pools, blue lagoons, all that kind of thing, make sure you've got your swim stuff with you. Iceland is in general quite a relaxed country. Reykjavik is um, a very laid back kind of atmosphere to it. The people here are very trendy, they dress very stylishly, but people are generally quite relaxed in their appearance. You don't necessarily need to be dressing up too much. So I would say bring a dress with you and a good pair of tights. I've got a pair here that are from Primark. They're fleece lined tights, really cosy, not very expensive once again. So buy a couple of these, you can always put them underneath your trousers or something if you're getting cold through the day. And I've got a cotton dress. Cotton's not the best choice because obviously if you're gonna get wet or you sweat or anything like that when you're out and about, um, it's not gonna dry very quickly, but for a meal or something, you're gonna be fine. So a dress like something like this that's gonna um, not crease in your luggage will be fine. And finally down to footwear. Um, one of the more important things that you will need here is definitely some good grip footwear. So something like hiking boots, perfect. You will be wearing them most of the time. Um, if you've got any snow boots, great. Don't necessarily go out and buy them though, but bring a pair of trainers as well. So the first thing I've got are my Nike trainers. I wear these just kind of out and about. They're really easy just to slip on. Um, I've started going to Zumba here, so I use them for that as well. Now I've got two pairs of hiking boots here with me. I've got my old high-tech ones that are um, probably about 10 years old by now. They've been heavily used, but I don't mind them getting a bit bashed in. And then I've got these brand new um, Berghaus ones that I bought just before I came over here and I make sure that I spray these with a kind of um, wax waterproof spray and really look after these ones. And then these are the investment that I made last year um, and I'm quite proud of these babies. These are my snow boots, they are huge, um, they are serious, serious boots. They've got rubber bases to them, a really good grip on them. Um, a suede outerwear and then fleece lined inside. The other essential thing you'll need with you is some really good moisturiser products. So because I suffer with dry skin anyway, I tend to use the Aveeno range. It's fantastic. It smells lovely as well. Clinique is always a really excellent brand to be using. And when I feel like my face needs an extra bit of oil, I put on this. It's the Botanics Power of Plant Facial Oil and it's 100% organic. And then I always have Body Shop Shea Butter Hand Moisturiser. As for makeup, I try to just kind of bring the bare essentials with me, especially if you're traveling with just hand luggage. A small makeup bag like this, which is clear so that you can get through security and everything. Now, if you wear glasses, make sure you bring your glasses case and cleaner, um, contact lenses, extra solution, all that kind of thing. Make sure you've got good sunglasses with you because it does get very glary here because there's so much snow. And obviously you're going to want to take lots of photographs and maybe even vlog your trip. So make sure you've got your camera with you. And last but not least, chargers. So that's everything for this packing video. 
If you've got any questions, put them in the comments below. I'm going to try and put some links to the items that I've been talking about in the down bar, so make sure you click there for more information. Hit the thumbs up so that more people see this video. Uh, feel free to share it and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you soon. Bye! Thank <laughs> you.